We just recorded a video of my flume experiment. We've had five of our students working on a lift and it's been a really fascinating process. We're looking at um, a lot of the equipment from our lab and we're going to be showing the inflation and deflation of the lung. Today we will see the new version of uh, the prosthetic hand. We are trying to mimic uh, humans and we are trying to make the robots to behave like humans and be efficient as humans. We've set up what would look a little bit like a modern excavation. And the site behind me is a pilot whale vertebra. We can't stop floods from happening, but if we understand them better, we can limit the consequences. In dance studies, it's not standing at the front of the room and telling them the information, it's pulling the information out of them. So it's the only virtual lung that I'm aware of in the world that actually looks like a real lung and breathes like a real lung. My purpose is to make robots as dexterous as human. This is a very new area and uh, it will grow rapidly. Yeah. At Auckland what we do is strive to be really, I guess, at the forefront of archaeological techniques in the world.